if everything was worth the same, then Everyone it would win. be very easy to. Just Maybe because Royal just thought stuff. purple was, was, like the purple color was rich back in the day. I mean, it was made from crushed seashells, which huh. weren't exactly the easiest thing. It to find. it almost looks like it's been drawn on, but it's supposed to be that one. I didn't draw on. Oh, oh. All right, any more rules? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're uh, getting all yeah, over the place. Yeah, all over. You guys uh, are getting distracted. <laughs> That's true. I'm on point. You know when you start explaining the game, I just stop paying attention. Hi. Welcome to Scott Teaches Games. My name is Nick. This is my wife, Sarah. And this is... Scott. I teach games. On Thursday, I'm gonna yeah. still say it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna still say it. <laughs> There's an empty spot that feels like it needs to be filled. Yes. <laughs> Just not quite sure. Today's not Thursday, but if you can guess properly what day it is, you get a point. <laughs> and you can redeem those points and cash them in later for a mystery prize. Who knows? <laughs> what game are we playing today? It's the game of colorful gems. <laughs> For you. Oh, aren't you a doll? This one's for me. I'm a human. Oh, wow. I don't know if you know that. Wait, are there? Oh my gosh, colors? there's two sides? Yes. Alright. Oh, this guy right here. Uh, there might be a shortage. Uh, I don't think we use all the discs for three people. Is it different size? This is seven. So, I don't know these out. They look the same. They might be the same. Oh! Black. Again, we only played it once. I know. And you are tan. Colored decoration oh. with the little circle that is. Uh, I was wondering how you were figuring that out. Right there. I'm going to assume that we're going to need that. I do remember this one. This goes to the first person to pull out of the center. They get this. This is their uh, first action. Token. We'll do it live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Directions. Oh, there we go. Directions are for cheaters. Ah, okay. What uh, round we're on? Yes. I was like, I knew we were going to have to have that. Directions are for cheaters. It's true. All right. Yeah. Now, prove me wrong. <laughs> I don't know if I can. These have a good a good sound to them. I know. Yep. They, these are the nicest feeling tiles. They're very flowery. Right? I know. That's Enjoy what we them. were seeing last time. Mm -hmm. The colors are nice. That's right. There's nothing on this one. No. Right. Half, of the, half of them have uh, some of the wrong stuff on the back. So nice. Yes. And each round is a... Corresponding color, whatever. That, that is denoting what color is wild. Oh. So the first round, purple tiles are wild. And put this other things out. Okay, so these will not start off in piles like this, it'll no. start off in the bag, but just Mixed want together. them to be able to be grabbed. Try and help explain things a little bit easier. All right, so I believe that we will have four tiles on each of these platforms, uh, chosen randomly when we have that 
on. Mm -hmm. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna take turns taking from one of the platforms. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take all of the color of one color, plus you get one additional tile of whatever the wild color is. If, if that's on that platform. Right. Yeah. Do not believe that you are allowed to take the wild color as your color. Oh. It, meaning like if we had yeah. like something like that, you couldn't be like, oh, I'll take purple because there's three wilds. Yeah. You still only get the, the one. I can oh. double check on that one because that's... Again, so you could take only... all the blue and one wild. Yes. Gotcha. Fine tiles, which is not the wild color. Yep. It looks like Scott's cheating. What, trying to remember all of them? Yes. Because yes. apparently... Directions are for cheaters. Right. That was, that's there what I go. heard. <laughs> yes. I heard that on the internet. You are only allowed to take one. Yes. yes. It's only to confirm for myself. That I am in fact re remembering it correctly. Okay. So yes, you can if uh, you're going for that one and purple's wild, you can still only take the one. The one. Okay. So it would make more sense to just take the blue, just because you get one extra tile. Right. Anyway, for everything that is not selected, gets pushed into the center. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So you have two things that you can do. You can either take it from one of the platforms or you can take it from the center. The same rules apply where you can take all of one color and one wild. So if this was in the center, yeah. you could take all the green and you could still yeah. take one and purple. One wild. Yeah. I don't understand why you would... Okay. It might become apparent with the next rule. Okay. The first person to take from uh, the center, the center gets, yeah, they get the uh, first uh, marker, uh, but they also lose points equivalent to the number of tiles that they're taking. Here, right? Yes, which is why instead of starting off on uh, like one or zero, I believe we start off on five. Oh so that we have something to lose immediately. Can you go to negative? No, that's why this is a different color. Mm. You can it's go down, you can though. go down to one, but it's the lowest you can go and I'm just make sure well, hello, the starting you? point. Yeah, like limbo. Yeah. Yes, we do start on five. So I'm, 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 I'm remembering a lot more than I thought I was. We've played this once. I've played this once. <laughs> The fact that I'm even remembering this much is... Wait, you're not paying attention to our limbo conversation. No, I'm not. Because I'm trying <laughs> to explain the game to everybody, including you. So, since you might also not remember what yeah, is going it's, it's on. Yeah, it's slowly coming back to me as you're explaining it. But... Yeah. Okay. So, after all of the tiles have been collected, mm -hmm. then starting with the first person, yep. we get to place the tiles onto our boards. Now, the way to do that, let's say we have this for the reds, and since purple is a wild color, we'll just go with that. In order to place a tile onto here, you have to have, obviously, one of the tiles to use, and an additional number of tiles to add up to whatever number you are trying to get to. So in order to place it onto the six, you have to six have tiles. six reds or five reds and a white. Mm. These would go be used to place it there and place your tile. Could you put the wild on there or no? Uh, you, no, you Can't. have to have at least one of the color that you are trying to use. One of them is for all colors. The one in the middle. One. It is this one. Okay. Yep. The one in the middle is for all of the colors. Uh, specifically, it l literally must be all the colors in order to complete this uh, 
star. Yep. Okay. You have to have one of each. And when we run out of the bag, we put the the ones in there back in the bag. Yep. Yeah. I remembered. And I was also <laughs> talking about limbo. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are special uh, scoring for this. Uh, if I can remember everything correctly, I believe you score. Those guys. Hmm. That's well, at the that, end. that's at, that's at the end oh. uh, for doing it. But I mean, you score. I know if you get to here, you get. You have to completely enclose something. them. Something. Yeah. You have to completely enclose them in order to to do it. Uh, oh, right. There are going to be tiles that are around I this don't location. This part. Well, this is what you are. Those are doing. Oh yeah. So now I'm starting. Yeah, yeah. If you happen to, like, since you had stated this, it previously, if yeah. you happen to enclose one of the specialty ones here, you get one from this inner center. Right. right. Uh, let's sit right yeah. here. So if you enclose one of these pillars then you get one okay. tile of your choice yep. from uh, the center here. If you, enclose these. if you end up enclosing the statue, you get two. And if you get one of the windows, you get three. You get three. The now, window seems easier. But well, it's the look, highest. Look at the numbers uh, that are around it. Yeah. It's all, all five sixes for yeah. the window. I mean, you need it. Gotcha. 11 tiles in order to gotcha. capture that. That's how they get you. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now, again, when we were placing them uh, one at a time, you're making individual selections for that. So you might ha be able to do a bunch of stuff, but you're only doing one thing at a time. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's see what else. Um, that's primarily because when you encapsulate one of these, you're grabbing from the center and the order matters for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, you don't have to use up all of your tiles when you are uh, placing them. After the round, yep, the corners, oh, you yes. can save up to four, placing them in. And you get to use them when corners. that's the wild? You, you have them available to you uh, for the next round. Okay. So like after each round, this will move forward, changing what tile is wild. We go, we fill up the uh, platforms again, go through the selections again, and then you'll take these off, add them to the oh, ones that you collected. Oh, I thought we only got to use those when that is the wild. It's not that you only get to use them when it's the wild, it's just beneficial to look ahead, say like, oh, orange is gonna be wild next. I don't necessarily need to have that. So suddenly you decide, hey, let's save three of the orange because they're gonna be wild next round. Mm -hmm. Is there a rule, is, like you either place a uh, tile down or you pick one up? Is there something like that? Of uh, we're always when we're selecting them, the selections happen first. We oh. we we select until everything is gone, and then that's, that's then we move around. on. Then no, that's half of a round. Right, half a round. Yeah. And then we go to placing them. Okay. Onto the board. All right. I got the you. only ones that you're going to be grabbing in this stage are from the center. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh. I'll have to look up again for the actual scoring because I can't remember if it's one point for a place plus uh, one point for each additional thing that's attached to it mm -hmm. or whether it's points for the number that you're placing it on plus one for each additional thing. And so now are we, up. how are we doing points as we go or at the end? Points as you go because again, you will be losing points when, when you grab, you from grab the from the, when you're the first okay. to grab from the center. Yes. Um, and then obviously there's different yes, points. Those are at the end of the game scoring. End of the game scoring. If you have, oh, this one's fairly simple. Meaning that if you have all of your ones. 
Oh. Cover. So you have all the ones. It's very easy to do. Yeah. But it's also very easy to miss. Right. But let's say we got all of our ones covered. I mean, all of them, including the center one for everything. Yep. All the ones are covered. You get, you get four, four points. points at the end. Oh. And again, it goes oh, up two, as three, it gets four. harder. Yeah, that one's pretty easy to Do understand. Do you know if everybody, anybody's ever filled the entire board? I don't believe it's possible. Oh. Uh, Not just, even in competition? It, there, <laughs> there aren't enough tiles, I don't believe, to, to pull it off. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I really don't think it is mathematically possible to even uh, come close to that. Okay. Uh, well then. Dashed his dreams. Sorry about that. Uh, the... I feel like this one's are... easier. I doubt it. Well, i not entirely certain the, that particular place out for it. I haven't looked it up because I was still trying to Learn wrap my head one. around the strategy for this one. Uh, if you complete one of the colors, so fully filling That would right. be 17 points. There you go. Based on the color. Mm -hmm. Orange would be 17, so obviously we have purple being the most valuable and moving down to red. This, Are there less purple? No, I believe it's the same number of everything. It's just an arbitrary number that they're just... Well, it's just picking a color. I believe everything is equally numbered. They're creating competition. For it purple. Is. Yeah, it's weird. Purple's it's, a good color. It's like there's a Duh. game or something. All right, guys, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to drop a comment below and let us know how much you like this game. Uh, don't forget to like the video as well and hit that notification bell. Get all of our latest updates.